These are some of the best Disney XD shows that we all watched as kids. Now, most of you guys probably don't even know what these shows are, because compared to my childhood to yours, I grew up basically with everything. But I'm telling you, you guys have probably have seen at least one of these shows. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's go. Starting off at number five, we got Kim Possible. This show was a classic. Now, I mean, most of the time when you ask somebody, hey, what's your what's your favorite Disney XD show? And they say Kim Possible. Like, that's just how good the show is. It's one of the most overplayed shows in the world. And I feel like I'm not the only one who still watches those shows to this day, at least. But almost everything about this show was perfect. All the characters were perfect, the villains, everything. The plot was perfect, the animation was perfect, everything about this show was perfect. Like, the show was that good. And let's not forget about my boy Rufus, the man who carried the whole entire show. Or should I say, the rat that carried the whole show. No disrespect to Rufus, though. He's the homie. This show was just amazing. I'm telling you, if you haven't watched it, what are you doing with your life? Like, what are you doing? Coming in at number four, we got Star vs. the Forces of E! Evil! This show was just too good! The story and the plot about Star vs. the Forces of Evil was just amazing. You could literally watch one episode of the show and you will literally not stop watching it until the next day. Like, the show was just that addicting to watch. Everything about the show was good. The story, the plot, the effects, everything about the show was good. And I'm gonna be honest, Marco was my main favorite character. Now, of course, Star may be the main character, but yo, Marco, in my opinion, he carried the whole show. He was a whole martial artist, and he was helping Star along the way when it comes to fighting off the forces of evil, monsters. He was not scared, and he was a normal human being. He had no powers. He's the main artique. But if you haven't seen this show, I can't be friends with you. Coming in at number three, we got Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja! Now, this was my show. I mean, how could you say no to a 14-year-old ninja who has abilities, who moves like the Flash, and can stop literally anything? Like, how could you say no to that? Like, literally, when it came to martial arts, I'm about it. And that show had everything. Like, Randy... He was not scared of nothing. He would literally fight like 10 feet monsters and machines and he would always win. The guy, he's that OP. Like, nobody can stop him. Like, I'm telling you right now, if you haven't seen this show, watch it right now. Coming in at number two, we got Kicking It. Now, Disney XD was really doing their thing with this one. Really, like, when I saw the first episode of this show, I was hooked. I literally watched, like, two seasons the first time I saw the show. I was that addicted. Jack Brewer was the GOAT. I will watch him any day. And coming in at number one, this is by far the best Disney XD show of all time. We got Love Cats. Now, this show was the best. Adam, Bree, and Chase, all of them were awesome. Especially Leo. Leo? was the main character i don't care what y'all say he carried the show and in season three when he finally became bionic that really changed my whole entire image of him their bionics were dope the story was good the suits were good everything about the show was good like literally as a kid i literally thought that me and my entire family were bionic but we just never knew like i literally thought i actually thought bionic humans actually existed but imagine if it actually did though could you imagine what the world would be like with the world's first bionic superhumans? Bro, we will be unstoppable!